you like to play cards, you would love Mahjong. It's a lot like Rummy, where you need to build a hand of 13 tiles into four sets and a pair. The sets can be three in a sequence or three of a kind. There are four of every tile, so you could have a four of a kind too. And then of course you always need a pair. If you wanna know more, there's a link to a lesson playlist below the video and a player reference with scoring on it. I'm gonna do some random pulls that could give you a good idea of what it's like to play. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to do four random pulls. One for each wind of the round, starting with East Round. We'll also roll the dice just to randomize which seat we're in. In this case, I rolled a six, so that's going to be seat two or south. So we're in south seat, it's east round. As non-dealer, we're going to get 13 tiles. The dealer's east, and they get 14, because they discard the tile in order to start the game. And that's all in that lesson playlist, so just watch that and it'll make more sense. For the exercise though, we're just gonna get 13 tiles. For this set of tiles, we have two BAMs. This is a one BAM and a seven BAM. Then we have the character suit, which is called Cracks, three, five, eight, nine. And then we have the dot suit, two, four, six. We also have some winds, north, west, and south, and a flower. The flowers are not part of your hand. They're bonus tiles. We're in seat two. And this is a number four flower, so we're not gonna get score for that. So we'll go ahead and just expose it and get a replacement. So here we got a seven dot. For this set of tiles, because we have an equal number of cracks and dots, I think I would try for a hand called all chow. A chow is three in a sequence. So that would be, for example, five, six, seven, or six, seven, eight in one suit. So this is a potential chow, here's a potential chow, there's a potential chow, and here's a potential chow. All we really need is a pair. So for discarding, I think I would discard the wins first because they're not as flexible as number tiles. With wins, there's no such thing as a chow for wins. There's one exception where you can use single wins, but we're not gonna talk about that right now because it's a rare hand. For all three in a sequence, it's best to get rid of these tiles unless they're paired up during the pick and discard part of the game. But for now, I think I would wanna draw in the numbered tiles because they're much more flexible. You can do a three in a sequence with a numbered tile, or you could pay, get a pair and then potentially even a three of a kind called a pung or a four of a kind, which is called a kong. So I would start by discarding these. Draw in numbered tiles, chow, 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 chow. Hopefully get a pair somewhere. Let's move on to the next one. So this time let's say we're going to be, I rolled an 11, so that would be eight, nine, 10, 11. So that would be number three seat or west. So west is the seat, and this time we're going to be in south round. South round, west seat. I rolled a seven. So that would be west. So we're gonna be in west seat and it is south round. For this set of tiles, I think I would try for a half flush. A half flush is one suit with winds and dragons. This is a green dragon. 
So even though those are single tiles, we have chow potential in here. Here's a potential chow, here's a potential chow, and here we have a two, three, four, six, seven, nine, or a pair, potential chow, six, seven. Here's a two, three, four already. So there's a lot of chow potential in here. So I think I would try for a half flesh and get rid of these first. Try for half flesh, which is three fawn. A fawn is like a point. So that's what I would try to do. Not only that, but we are in seat three. We have a west. This is the seat wind. So if we can pair that up, we could potentially get score for either this or this, because any three of a kind of the dragon, a pung of dragons, that's worth a fawn by itself. Let's move on to the next one. This time I rolled a six. That's going to be seat two, south seat. This time, butterfingers, this time we're in west round. So south seat, west round. We have a flower. This is a four flower. We're not going to get score for that though because we're in seat two. We can still get a replacement tile though. Six bam. So here we have lots of honors, including a pair of dragons. We have a pair of nines and a three six. So I would play probably a half flush. If we paired up, we could do all three of a kind, but at a minimum, we could maybe just use the dragon pung alone. That's one fawn. But I think I would try for a half flush. Maybe try to draw in some bams here to create chow or pung potential. And then pair these up. Pung the green, pung the nine, discard these. So again, a, a chow is three in a sequence. A pung is three of a kind. So these are both potential pungs. Any pair is a potential pung. We're in west uh, round, and we are in south seat. So this east wind is not gonna really do any good except help us get to a half flesh. Even though it's not our seat wind or the wind of the round, it's still a wind or dragon, which together are called honors. And one suit with honors is a half flesh. Three fawn for that. So if we press for a half flesh, Dragon Pung, that would be a four fawn hand, which is not bad. We're gonna now do North Round. This time we're gonna be seat nine, which is West. West seat, North Round. For these tiles, since we have only one wind or dragon together, again, winds and dragons are called honors. So since we only have one honor, I would probably try for an all chow hand. We would have a potential chow here. Here's a pair. You always gotta have a pair. This could also be a potential chow. Here's a potential chow or here with the six, seven. This is isolated. And then here we have isolated tiles as well. So we would definitely need to draw well to play an all chow hand here. And then of course we have no flowers. No flowers is actually a fawn, no flower fawn. So right now we have one fawn for no flowers. And if we tried for a all chow hand, that would be two fawn. I hope that gave you a good idea of what it's like to play Mahjong.
And if you have a set at home and you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, try this exercise. I think it's a great way to learn the scoring and also build on your confidence with decision making. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next set of random pulls for Hong Kong Mahjong, may all your picks be keepers.